Hi, uh, this is part two in a series, so uh, check out the previous one if, if, uh, if you don't get some of this stuff. So uh, here we're going to be dealing with, uh, I have four problems in here, and these are going to deal with derivatives, so let's, let's work these out. So here you have f of x is equal to 345.7, and we need to take the derivative of that. So if you recall that when you take the derivative of a constant, the, the constant, uh, or when you take the derivative of a constant, it's it's always zero. So f of x, derivative of f of x, is equal to, when we take the derivative of 345.7, that's going to be equal to zero. So as always, a constant, when you take the derivative of it, it's, it's going to turn out to be zero. Let's go on to the second problem. Oh, and you might want to pause these uh, so that you can try to work it out on your own before I actually do these. That way it, uh, it helps reinforce it. So, okay, so I'm going to solve this one out. So, I'm taking the derivative of f of x, which is equal to the square root of 15. Now, I'm going to rewrite this to make it easier for me. So, that's, that's, that's exactly the same thing. One half is the same thing as the square root. So, now I'm taking the derivative of this. So, when I do that, I bring down the one half. And I subtract 1 from 1 half, which ends up giving me 1 half times 15 minus 1 half. And that is also equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of 15. And you can do that because this is negative. And if you want, to, uh, you can turn this positive and drop down this whole value down here. And you'll get the same thing. It's just rewritten differently. Okay, so that's number two. Let's go on to solve number three. Uh, yeah. So here we want to solve. We want to get the derivative of f of x, which is 10x minus three. So the derivative of 10x that's to the first power minus three. Well, here's a constant, so this part's just going to go away. That's going to turn to zero. Well, let's work on this other part. So you have the 10, you're going to bring down the 1, and you're going to subtract 1 from up top, and then that just turns to 0. So here it's going to be 10 times 1, and then x to the 0 power. And x to the 0 power, x to the 0 power is always equal to 1. Anything, um, a happy face to the, to the 0 power is equal to 1. 10 to the 0 power is equal to 1. So this this problem here so that f of x the derivative of f of x is just equal to 10 so let's go down and solve the last one here we have f of x is equal to negative 35 x squared so f of x the derivative of f of x is equal to negative 35 x squared and we're taking the derivative of that so you're going to bring down the 2 so you're going to have your negative 35 times 2 x squared minus 1. So that's going to be negative 70 of x to the first, or you could just rewrite it as negative 70 uh, times x. And that is those four problems. Uh, I hope you like these. Uh, I'm going to make a few, actually I'm going to make many more problems on this, that way everybody gets a good, good grasp on it. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it, and uh, good luck in your classes.